Hi Leo, it's Cherry. I'm here with the monthly reading, the Twin Flame reading for Leos in the month of August. And so what I'm doing here is a Twin Flame reading that I started back in May. It's just a month to month kind of thing to see the progress of your relationship. I'm using um, a little spread that I made that I have in my, my tarot book and the spread is the twin flame spread with the divine masculine and the divine feminine if you want to see what that looks like get a little preview check out the general message for everyone for the month of august that one is out and also a couple of other signs are out you might like to check your rising or your moon sign if you see those zodiac signs out already or the sign of your significant other so we have his feelings, her feelings, his thoughts, her thoughts, his hopes, her hopes, his actions, and her actions. We're going to go back and forth like that. Um, I say his and hers and he and she, but definitely you can, it, the pronouns don't necessarily match the sex. You know, it can be masculine or feminine, male or female, wherever you see yourself, or if you don't even see yourself as a particular one or the other, you know, just kind of be loose and follow along and enjoy the reading. So let's start with the masculine side. We're just going to say he and she and his and hers just for simplicity's sake, okay? All right, so the divine masculine, let's use the romance angels. Oh, and by the way, you guys, I've got a, a, a unicorn theme and a mermaid theme. So the unicorn um, represents the divine masculine and the mermaid represents the feminine in my um, sentimental silhouettes deck. So I figured that would be a good theme for this month. And every month I change up the deck just for fun. All right. So... But I try to stick with uh, the Romance Angels for the Masculine and the Romantic Fairy for the Feminine. And I might change that up too along the way, who knows. I might make a little mini fairy deck, a fairy forecast deck, and then match up my mini decks. I'm kind of thinking of that. Look you guys, you got reconciliation. Oh my God, you got wedding underneath it. <laughs> wow, and worth waiting for. All right, we're going to go with reconciliation, though. That's a nice one. Okay, somebody is zooming by. So somebody from your past is returning into your life. Now, you may or may not be excited about this, but I think it's it's definitely good energy, you know. It might not be that ex that you don't want to talk to anymore. It could be somebody who actually, you know, wants to have a nice stable committed situation with you and since we're dealing with twin flames you know um it could be the union coming to you know coming towards you and that the end of separation okay so you can see it like that all right let's check out the the divine feminine what's going on with the divine feminine male female masculine feminine but we're, going, we're just going to call this side feminine, the mermaids. What's the general message here for you guys? Or I should say you ladies. Well, some of you are going to be guys. <laughs> okay. I think I've had too much caffeine. Okay. Wow, look. You have um, guided steps to great love. This is beautiful. Follow the path of ascension towards a great love. So definitely a very nice, meaningful... I might have cat scratch fever. I don't know. I've been scratched a lot. <laughs> All right. So there you go. All right. So now, now we're going to go use the, the unicorn, crystal unicorn. It has little crystals, and sometimes I go into the meaning of the crystals, but mostly I'm just going to go into the general message of the, the tarot. And it follows the writer, Waite Smith, and so does the, um, the mermaid tarot, too. Okay, let's see what we have. What, okay, so the first question, before I do anything else, the first question is going to be, what is the Divine Masculine feeling towards the Divine Feminine in the month of August for Leo's Sun, Moon, or Rising? What is the Divine Masculine feeling? What is... Okay, let, oh, okay. 
we're gonna go with page of cups nice the page of cups he's feeling like he wants to bring some love into the situation he wants to give her his love cup now he could be like oh i just feel like young and shy i feel this is a shy energy this is a little he could be hesitant too because maybe he's in you know he hasn't been communicating with you maybe you've been either in separation or non-communication and so he's like uh love anyone <laughs> and you're like what <laughs> what after all this time okay anyway let's see what the divine feminine is feeling in the month of august towards her divine masculine or the relationship leo sun moon rising and other placements what is the Divine Feminine feeling towards her Divine Masculine? You've got, ooh, I love this one, the Eight of Pentacles, lovely. So she's feeling like this is a work in progress, but we can do it. Like we're, we are growing, we are learning, we're getting better, better with time. You know, that's, that's how it is. It's kind of like this sense of, yeah, it's like, the more we're together, the more we grow. The more, the more that we're together, the happier we'll be. The more we spend time together, or the more that we focus on this connection, the, the more we grow and are happy. It's about like mastery and skill, you know, and having talent in like a, in a um, financial way or in a crafts kind of way. But when it, whenever you apply pentacles to a romantic situation, it may it. It talks about stability and a firm foundation. So there, it's like building blocks. That's what I'm seeing here. So that's what she's feeling. She's like, we're building, we're growing. <laughs> All right, so what is the divine masculine thinking in the month of August towards his divine feminine and the relationship? What is he thinking? That one wanted to pop out. Ooh, he's, he's, look, okay, we've got the two of pentacles. So he's thinking, I can have it all. I can have my cake and eat it too. I can juggle everything. I can, I can do this. I can have her in my life and I can have everything else that I want in my life as well. I can make it all work. That's a really good thought too. I can, I can have, we can have it all. That's what that is. We can have it all. <laughs> so let's see what the divine feminine is thinking towards her divine masculine in the month of August. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, <laughs> Saturn. I don't know. Whatever you feel like is necessary to look up in this case that would apply to love. They say, I've heard it said, that the rising sign represents um, the the physical world. So if you really want contact, you want a tangible, you might want to check out your rising sign and see what that says. So you got the emperor. The emperor's awesome. Um, it's, I, oh look, see? <laughs> it's very subtle, but there he is holding her hand. And look, he's even got the, um, he's got the Libra symbol here. So he's like reaching out for the feminine and she's holding his hand through thick and thin. So you can see also there's snow on that that wheel and no matter how long it takes anyway. So she's thinking that, that this is her masculine. This is her divine masculine. She's sticking with him. She's loyal and she's gonna abide by him and stay by his side no matter what. That's definitely a beautiful Leo quality. I admire Leo's loyalty and steadfastness. <laughs> so let's see what are the divine masculine's hopes in the month of August towards his divine feminine, sun, moon, arising. What are the divine masculine's hopes? Let's see. Some of these cards get sticky. Oh, okay. His hopes, whoa, his hopes are the sun. The hopes are like happiness, joy, fulfillment, contentment, and abundance. I was about to say ambition, but maybe that too. Um, romantic ambition, <laughs> you know, like really achieving a goal, achieving greatness between you two. So this, and also this desire to get married possibly in the future. So long-term goals. And the sun is Leah's natural ruler too. So feeling 
very in august like some of you might have birthdays so happy birthday leo too you might be having birthdays right now happy birthday leos and um and also those leftover cancers the cancer season's over though i think right anyway yeah happy birthday leo oh my gosh and the divine feminine's hopes here um are the four of wands she's like yes you are my twin flame and i will stand by your side here's another stand by your side two of cups we can have it we can have it all just like you said my love you're my love you're my two of cups you're the only one for me very sweet her hopes are that they can share that cup together they can share time together they can can just be together and be partners like they've always wanted to be. So let's see what the Divine Masculine's actions are going to be towards his Divine Feminine in the month of August. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right, Seven of Pentacles. So, I mean, Seven of Pentacles is real similar to Eight. It's like a growing thing. like. Like, I think um, he's actually looking at his pentacles and saying, okay, what have I done so far and how much farther do we need to go? Like, I, I'm getting really close. We're getting really close to, to some kind of an achievement here to, um, yeah, he's, he's reaping what he sows. And this reaping what he sows definitely has a very strong autumn energy to it, you know, bringing in the harvest kind of thing. So he's like putting a lot of work into this and, and he's standing back and looking at all the work and he's like, how do we like, how do, how do we do this final push? You know, how do we make it to the, to the final thing? Cause I got, I put a lot of work and effort into achieving something between us, something space spe special and patient, you know, ah. Beautiful. Anyway, this is patience, harvest time. Just like I said, this is an investment. He is vested in you. He is invested in you. So that is really nice. Okay, so let's see about... Um, and this is goes back to the we can have it all. It's like there's a lot there. We can have it all. It's a lot of money. It's riches. Not just a spiritual and spirituality and love. But it's a lot of riches as well. All right, let's see what her, uh, what the Divine Feminine's actions are going to be. I'm not going to count this one because I think it's the one underneath. Yeah. Oh, not that one either. Well, the actions. She, okay. It came in reversed. So I think this is what this means. Because it was opposite, upside down, I feel like it means that nothing's gonna stop her now like whatever was holding her back she's gonna break free from this this energy that's binding her she's not gonna let she's not gonna be her pr a prisoner of her own making anymore either she's gonna set herself free so I think that's the final action for the divine feminine in this situation there's gonna be a sense of freedom and getting out of this also could represent like COVID too or other like world events that we have no control over you know some things we can control and there's other things that are really kind of feel like they're out of control and I feel like you're gonna break free from this these limitations and that will definitely be the final push to your to your union here or you're getting together so let's see what charms you have there I have a pet mosquito that are hangs around here it's like no you cannot land and bite me okay let's see what you got alrighty so Leo's I'm sure I don't have to tell you but pamper yourself okay <laughs> go buy some new clothes we have an unusual character here either the masculine or feminine sort of a jack skellington type you know halloweeny type person you have a sure idea somebody who likes pizza maybe a pizza night for you too there's going to be some intellectual communication and there's uh saint george here just have a little faith a lot of music this uh, is rainbow with the with the uh, with the eye the eye is kind of like your third chakra um not third your sixth sense sick yeah it's your third chakra but your sixth sense uh, it's your third eye opening up and um and you being able to to see so much more of yourself in the situation it's like a lightning bolt it's like a download of information and all your chakras become aligned and 
Um, also, this is a shout out for the LGBTQ community as well. So it's like your love is important and it's it's part of this whole beautiful spectrum that we live in, you know. So wherever you see yourself in this reading, this is meant for you too. You're the missing piece. There is a definite yin-yang a counterpart situation the sun you know one of you has a very strong masculine sun vibe and somebody might have a very moon vibe here we have the fairy who's hugging it's like there's a hug coming close to you or somebody might be hugging you in your dreams well you got the statue of liberty that's the first time this came out Ooh, so this means you might freedom for you for some for this couples that are like stuck together um stuck separated in separation there's going to be a reconciliation and freedom we've got um anchor means stability the butterfly is a transformation the tennis racket i feel like it's like you know the ball is in your court or it could represent love the term love you know you're going back and forth back and forth and finally you just say love and you got the elephant of recognition and reminiscing and memories there's going to be patience here, patience and a little bit of waiting. Um, and we've got, uh, this is, oh, this is Christ consciousness here, St. Anne. And she's Jesus' grandma, so, she, oh yeah, see, we do have the moon. There is moon energy here. I'm, I'm feeling the feminine might have the moon energy. We have this little biplane that keeps coming out, and I feel like a lot of you, your past life was like early 1900s, World War One time, or something like that. Okay, you guys. So, I hope you like that. I'm going to do some more readings, so check out your other um signs of your chart to to find out more to get a bigger picture of your love situation so i'll see you around faith just and pixie dust